Welcome to Electron Online. Here's our next example of how we deal with inclined planes. However, there's no inclined plane involved in this particular example, but on the next example, we will have something slightly different. And therefore, let's first see how we do this problem before we graduate to the next problem. So here we have a rifle firing a bullet in a horizontal direction with an unknown initial velocity. The target is 20 meters away. And since we're aiming directly towards the center of the target, of course, because of gravity, the bullet will, will hit the target below the center at a distance of 0.45 meters below. So what we're trying to do is, first of all, find the initial velocity and then find the equation describing this parabolic path of the bullet. So let's go ahead and see where we, how we go about doing that. If in doubt, always try this one. Time in the air. Of course, you probably have seen this one already a lot of times, and that's usually the way you want to approach these types of problems. And let's do the y direction first. So we get y equals y sub naught plus v sub naught in the y direction times time plus one half g t squared. Plug in what we know. Well, the final height will be zero when we hit, well, what we're going to do here is call this location where the bullet hits the target, let's call that y equals zero. And then the initial height, y sub naught, will be 0.45 meters above y, the y equals zero point. So this becomes zero equals 0 0.45 plus zero, because there's no component in the y direction, and then minus 4.9 t squared. So this becomes zero equals 0 0.45 minus 4.9 t squared. And that allows us to find time because, well, there's only one unknown in here. Let's solve for time in here. Uh, what we can then do is we say 0 0.49 t squared is equal to 0 0.45. t squared equals 0 0.45 divided by 0 0.4. Oh, what do we, what do we have here? I don't think this is correct. This should be minus becomes plus 4.9 and this becomes plus 4.9 and t equals all right 0.45 divided by 4.9 equals take the square root of that and we end up at time equals 0 0.303 seconds. So just about one third of a second to hit the target. Now for x, the location x, so we can say that time in the air will give us this equation, x equals x sub naught plus v sub naught in the x direction times time plus one half a in the x direction times time squared. But again, we don't have an acceleration term in the x direction, that goes to zero, and we can say that x sub naught is zero as well which leaves us with x equals v initial in the x direction times time. And in this case, since we now know what the time is and we know the distance, we can solve for v initial in the x direction, which is what we're looking for. And that is equal to x divided by t. x is 20 meters. t is 0 0.303 seconds. And take the inverse of that times 20 equals, and the answer is, 66 meters per second, of course, it's velocity. All right, now that we know the initial velocity, can we come up with that parabolic equation? All right, let's see where we go with that. First of all, let's assume now we're going to move our coordinate system and let's move it over here. This is our y-axis and here this is our x-axis. And notice we have an upside-down parabola, and the general equation of an upside-down parabola is y equals minus ax squared minus, because it's upside down, and now also that's the general parabola with the vertex of the parabola at the origin. But it's not at the origin, it's actually slightly above the origin. So we're going to need a plus, hmm, let's call it y sub naught in there. Plugging in the value for y sub naught, we get y equals minus ax squared plus 0 
Now we still need to find that constant a, and we can do that by plugging in some numbers. We know that when x equals 0, y equals 0 0.45, right? So when x equals 0, y equals 0 0.45, but then when I make that 0, well, y will be equal to that. That doesn't help. How about when x equal this number right here? All right, let's try that. When x equals 20, then y equals 0. That's going to help us find that constant. Let's plug in those numbers. So we get 0 is equal to minus a times 20 squared plus 0 0.45. Moving that across, we get 400 A equals 0 0.45, and finally, A equals 0 0.45 divided by 400. All right, let's do that one, 0.45 divided by 400 equals, we get 0 0.001125. And finally, plug in that value into our equation right here, here we can say that y equals minus 0 0.001125 times x squared plus 0 0.45 is the equation that describes the path of the bullet. And that's how we do that when we have the rifle directed to a target that's directly across. What we're going to do in the next video is move the target downward and now have the bullet or the rifle directed at an angle, just like a downward slope, and then do a similar problem and see how we have to solve that one. But this is how we do it when the rifle is angled horizontally with no Y component initially to the velocity. And that's how that's done.